And sources have told Vyond that at least seven European Union nations have included the Made in India Covishield vaccine in its green pass. These nations are Germany, Austria, Slovenia, Greece, Ireland, Estonia and Spain. Estonia has approved both India's Covishield and Covaxin shots and outside of the bloc, Switzerland and Iceland have approved Covishield vaccine for the travel pass. Earlier toughening its stand on the European Union COVID certificates, India had asked the Eurozone to accept Covishield or Covaxin or else it won't accept the bloc's digital green pass. People from the European Union will then have to undergo a mandatory quarantine upon arrival in India if they have been vaccinated. However, isolation for those carrying EU's digital pass will not be required only if Brussels accepts India's Covaxin and Covishield vaccines. Earlier, the European Union did not accept the two Made in India vaccines for its pass. The bloc has listed only those vaccines which have been approved by the European Medicines Agency. The vaccine certificate will be rolled out today and vaccines approved by the EMA are Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca and Janssen. But Covishield, which is essentially AstraZeneca, only being manufactured in India, is yet to get their clearance. The exclusion of vaccines being administered in India has sparked concerns that Indians will face difficulties in travelling to the EU, which has 27 members. Now, Estonia has approved, it's one of the first countries to have approved both India's COVID shield and the Covaxin shots. And outside of the EU, Iceland and Switzerland have approved COVID shield vaccine for the travel pass. Remember, earlier, EU had not approved India's COVID shield, which is essentially AstraZeneca, that has been manufactured in India in, for approval in its green pass. Now, toughening its stand on European Union COVID certificates, India had asked the Eurozone to accept COVID shield or Covaxin or else it won't accept the bloc's digital green pass. Now people from the European Union will have to undergo a mandatory quarantine upon arrival in India even if they have been vaccinated. Now for more on this story we're being joined by diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibbal. Sidhan, thank you for joining us. How do you assess the situation? Now we know there are some countries which have started accepting Covishield as well. Well, as of now, nine European countries have accepted uh, the use of uh, COVID shield vaccine and Estonia, in fact, stands out by agreeing to all the vaccine which the Indian okay. government has approved. That means the, the two India-made vaccines, COVID shield, Covaxin, Sputnik vaccine, the Russian vaccine being manufactured here, and in fact, Moderna as well. Moderna got approval uh, recently, uh, as we saw. But largely, this is a positive development. Uh, almost the number heading towards uh, 10. Uh, we know that still uh, India is uh, having conversations with other European members country but we do right. expect other European countries to also agree to it. Right Siddhant, you did mention that Estonia has approved both India's Covishield and Covaxin. What can you tell us about the Green Pass here? Now we know that earlier Covishield was not cleared for the Green Pass which is essentially just AstraZeneca that has been manufactured in India. Now India had to toughen its stand on the European Union Covid certificates and had to ask Eurozone to accept these vaccines or else we won't be accepting the bloc's digital Green Pass. How do you assess that situation? What do you think is the process for approval here? Well, from today, the Green Pass or the digital certificate comes into effect. It does not impact anyone. It is only for intra-EU travel. In fact, the EU envoy speaking to Vyond has clarified this. So it does not impact travel into the bloc. Secondly, the confusion arises because the European Union has used the European Medicines Agency that is their uh, main body that commercially authorizes any vaccine. Now, EMA lists only four vaccines. It does not list India-made COVID shield vaccine. There is the confusion. The European Union could have used the World Health Organization's approved list, but right. they chose this list. And that is where the confusion arises. So now what is happening is that India is bilaterally reaching to all European Union member countries. It has given them two proposals. One proposal is accept both the vaccines, India-made vaccine. One is COVID shield and co-vaccine. The second proposal is if you accept these two vaccines, then if your national are traveling to India, then we will accept your green pass, the national green right. pass, and your nationals will not be requiring the mandatory quarantine here in India. Right, Sizan, thank you for clarifying that. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.